Okay, uh, hello world and hello fellow Unity game developers. My name is Jacob Pennock from Unicorn Forest Games and today I'm here to show you my new plugin for Unity, which provides automatic documentation generation for all your C Sharp scripts through Doxygen uh, with a nice editor plugin. So you can do it all through the Unity editor. So first you have to download it from my blog and then you go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and then you'll have to find where you downloaded it. For me, I put it somewhere around here. Then find your doxygen.unity package. Click OK or Open. It will show you everything it's going to import. Go ahead and import it. Since it's an editor extension, it's going to put everything inside of an editor folder in the base of your project. See here it is, Doxygen. And what that allows you to do is go to Window, Document through with Doxygen, uh, Document with Doxygen, and it will bring up this window. And you can dock it next to your inspector or use it freestanding. First it will tell you you have to set up the path to your Doxygen install and build a new Doxy file before you can generate documentation. Uh, that's very important. You, you need to have Doxygen already installed in your computer to use this, but once you do, you click Settings, and then you have to select the path where Doxygen is installed. If you've already used this plugin in another one of your projects, it, it will save where you installed it, but if this is the first time you're install or using this plugin, this will be blank. So you have to click this little button and find where you installed Doxygen. It's probably in C, Program Files, x86, and then Doxygen, and then bin, and then doxygen.exe. Click Open. That will update the path in here. Then you can set some other details about your project. You can give it a name, you can give it a little synopsis or brief that will be displayed in the documentation, you can give it a version, and you can set which theme you want to use. I'll cover those more in a second. And then you can set up the directories that you want to build documentation from and output the documentation to. And by default, it's going to Doxygen is going to search your whole assets folder for C Sharp scripts to document. If you have like a specific folder, maybe something called scripts, and you only want it to search there, you can set it by clicking here. But it's generally fine to let it search your whole fo assets folder if you want. And by default, it's going to output to a folder called docs right outside your assets folder. So like in your project folder, but right next to the assets folder not inside the Assets folder. Once you set all these settings, you click Save Configuration and Build New Doxy File. It will tell you it's done, and then you can go back to this screen, and you'll see some new buttons. You can click Run Doxygen, and you'll see a progress bar going and some output from what's going on in Doxygen while it's running. And then once it's done, you can click Browse Documentation. And here it is. All your classes are now nicely documented for you, and you can browse through them. So like I was saying before, uh, I included three themes with this, besides the general dox Doxygen theme. This is my, my personal theme that I like to use. It's uh, I call it dark and colorful. So let's see what sort of these look like. Let's look at this actual Doxy runner class. This is what your documentation looks like for any particular class. You can see all the public functions and variables and attributes, and you can get, if it's nicely commented, uh, you get a nice output and can search through your documentation very easily this way. It even uses a nice wiki markup, so you can do some, you can do some neat stuff like, where's the menu screen? You can actually embed code or other things inside of your documentation very easily. So yeah, this is pretty nice. 
If you if you were to fill in these briefs and version numbers, they would be outputted somewhere around here. So let's look at these other themes. You can use the default Doxygen theme if you want. You have to re-click Save and then regenerate your documentation. And it's all running fine. Oh, also you can click this View Doxygen Log and view everything that was output by Doxygen if you want to. See if there's any warnings or anything went wrong. And here's uh, sort of the default Doxygen theme, which I think is pretty colored, so I don't really like to use it. There's a third theme that's similar to my own, but it's called Light and Clean. I found it on, well, I call it Light and Clean. He called it something else. It's on, um, he didn't really give it a name. I found it on Stack Overflow. It was just uh, another theme, and it's, it uh, might match a Mac or something. I'll show you what that one looks like. So what's actually going on is it uh, Unity is spawning um, your Doxygen command in a separate thread and running Doxygen on your particular folder that you told it to. So since it's running in another thread, it doesn't lock up Unity at all. And this is the light and clean theme. It's sort of light and, uh, you know, looks kind of really plain, but maybe nice for some people. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the, the dark theme that matches sort of my text editor. So let's, let's do that one again. I like to use Sublime Text. This looks kind of like this. So. Yep. It looks pretty nice. Uh, if you actually look through the documentation of the couple classes I use, um, they may be very helpful to you, particularly this Doxy Runner class. Um, it's what's actually spawning Doxygen in a separate thread and running it. And the command to run another program in another thread is pr uh, specifically left very generic. So you could use this plugin as a base for writing a number of plugins that can call command line tools and if you were to look through the code, you can see how you can use locks and spawn separate threads and do things. So you can do, uh, you can call command line programs and get the output back into Unity in a thread safe way. So if you wanted to write sort of any plugin that calls command line tool, you could use this as a nice base or a starting off point. You can see how to get Unity to uh, build you a directory in its temp directory. So you have a working space to work in that's unique and safe to use. Um, yeah, so this is my Doxygen plugin. It gives you nice docs, uh, documentation for all your C-sharp scripts uh, in your class. You can, so say you have installed another plugin like iTween but don't want to go to the site all the time, you can just sort of look through all those tons and tons of static functions it gives and get their documentation without having to go to iTween site. Uh, yeah, so I hope you find it useful. I'm going to make it free on my blog. I might submit it to the asset store for a dollar or two just as sort of a convenience charge so you'll get all the updates but won't have to keep up with my Twitter or my blog. But yeah, that's uh, Doxygen for, for Unity. It doesn't do C Sharp. I mean, it doesn't do JavaScript. I looked through sort of the do uh, Doxygen documentation to see if it could do C Sharp, and people had written some Perl scripts and some kind of messy stuff. It seems like you can maybe get it to work. Um, this should work on a Mac. I have I don't have a Mac to test on, so I don't know for sure. But yeah, that's uh, Doxygen for Unity, and uh, I hope you guys like it. Have a good day.